we all have our heroes, our family heroes, and I love to tell the story of one of our great heroes, my grandfather, John Wesley Rice Sr. So John Wesley Rice Sr. was a sharecropper's son in Utah. That would be E-U-T-A-W, Alabama. I'm not kidding. <laughs> and um, when John Wesley Rice Sr. was about um, 19 or so, he decided he was going to get book learning in a college. So he asked how a colored man could go to college. And they told him about Little Stillman College, which was just a little bit down the road, 30 miles or so. So he saved up his cotton. He went off to college. He went through his first year. And then came his second year. And they said, so how are you going to pay for your second year? And he said, well, I'm out of cotton. I'm out of money. They said, you're out of luck. He said, how are those boys going to college? They said, well, they have what's called a scholarship. And if you wanted to be a Presbyterian minister, then you could have a scholarship too. And my granddaddy said, you know, that's exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> And my family has been college educated and Presbyterian ever since. Now, I have to ask though, can we say to John Wesley Rice seniors of today that that's true? Because when I can look at your zip code and I can tell whether you're gonna get a good education, something's gone very, very wrong. 